Hi everyone, and welcome back to Anna Dialogue, the dialogue on analog music reproduction. Today, we're going to take a deeper look inside the topic of audio interconnect cables. In a precedent video, we've already explored the main elements that are needed to create excellent types of interconnect cables, audio cables, hi-fi cables. In this video, we're going to actually see how to make them. So our main ingredient is going to be that typology of cables we explored, which means monocrystal copper, the purest type of copper, the best sounding copper you can buy for a relatively low price. Let's take a look. The type of cable we are going to create in this video is a semi-balanced typology. As you can see in the diagram, we have RCA connectors, which have on one side the cold connector soldered together with the braid, the shield, while on the other side the cold connector does not have the shield bonded together. While obviously the, the where the signal passes, the hot pole is identical on each side. So why is this? The difference with other balanced type of cables, which have XLR typologies of connectors, are used in the professional environment when you need very long cables. Hence, uh, protection throughout, a shielding throughout the entire length of the cable. But in our case, we don't need that since the length is I suggest about a meter or two, not more. So a semi-balanced typology will screen uh, in the right degree this cable without being balanced, which we, we cannot have that typology of, of signal here. Otherwise, we would have problems with hums and things like that. Okay, let's get to it. So the first thing we need is a good pair of cables. This is a Neotech NE 3004, which uh, have excellent type of copper inside. It's a mono crystal copper typology, which is the purest and highest quality for audio signals. And the price is very good because it's about $10 or 10 euro per meter. As you can see, it has a heavy shielding and it has a braid, which means this type of um, cable is used also as a balanced type of cable. We will use it as a semi-balanced, which will cut off all the different types of interference, which may which make the uh, our signal more dirty. So it's important to have this typology of cables. Besides that, we also need some good quality connectors like these. I also presented these in another video. These are the KLM uh, Pure Harmony series. They're in silver and they're based on the technology developed by the bullet plugs uh, of Eichmann, uh, which the geometry of these avoid the so-called eddy current phenomenon. So the hot cable goes directly to the pin and the other one on the little uh, spike of silver, which avoids having a contact which goes around the hot pin, uh, avoiding the eddy current type of effect. You know, they're not too expensive and they can be easily inserted on the cable and screwed afterwards. So besides that, we're going to need a good pair of scissors, good quality scissors like this type, electrician type. We're also going to need a cutter, obviously a good type of quality tweezers, uh, our soldering iron, which uh, has a regulation for the temperature, this is very important. I bought a kit which has different types of points, uh, a little stand so you can rest it on plus other types of lead together, which is uh, not very high quality. And uh, also this type of little pump, which is very useful. It comes in handy to unsolder the mistakes you make. Besides that, we need a good pair of pliers to unstrip wires. This is very important. 
also we're gonna need, and this is the fundamental part of our soldering process, good quality silver-based soldering wire, like this one. You can also buy it in smaller lengths than, <coughs> than a whole reel, which is much more cheaper. Then we also need some shrink uh, wrap, which goes around our cables to keep everything together and to distinguish the, red, the, right, the right from the left channel. You also need this type of tool to dry the shrinking wrap, but also here dry would do. If you want, you can also buy some external um, elements like this to cover the entire wire. You also need this kind of bench um, vase or bench clasp to keep all the different parts firmly and sturdily. So the first thing. We have to cut off a piece of the external part of the cable with our um, scissors. We have to be careful not to cut off the internal part, obviously. With our detailed precision tweezers, we must uh, put apart the um, braid, tie it together, which will be an element of our cable. Cut off the remaining parts, which we do not need, of the isolation inside. Then with our um, strippers, we will strip the cables, so we have a nice clean tip. And at this point, we must um, combine together the different parts of each cable, so it becomes only one single point. Now we have three different points. We have to regulate our soldering iron to about 350, 400, it depends. Insert first the back part of your connectors, otherwise you're not gonna be able to do that afterwards. And keep some humid paper to clean off your soldering iron tip every once in a while. So we're gonna start now to put a little bit of silver uh, soldering wire on the tips of each wire, so it will be more easy in the process of combining them with the different other parts. Since it's a semi-balanced cable, we're gonna to put together, we're gonna to solder together the cold pole together with the braid, the external braid, which will help us, as we said, to shield the uh, cable, which is why it's a semi-balanced cable. Okay, now we can start to fix our um, connector one part we're gonna put a little bit of soldering wire on these two parts so it's ready to receive the, uh, the cable on top of it you just need to heat it up and insert it quickly it's a tricky work a tricky part of the, of the whole process but once you've done it a few times it's pretty easy and you connect the other part on the other uh, pole of the, of the connector add a little bit of soldering wire on each part so it'll stay there firmly try to be a little more cleaner than I am and we put our shrink wrap before uh, closing the last part of our uh, before connecting the second connector to the cables in this case, we are, we're only going to have the cold and hot cables. The hot cable is the red one with the signal. The other one is just for the uh, circulation of the electric current. So, again, we add some soldering wire on the two parts. And we repeat the process we've seen before. Just need to warm them up and rapidly insert each cable in the soldering wire we precedently inserted there. A little more soldering wire just to keep everything in place. Okay, now we can heat 
heat up our shrink wrap, which will wrap around our job, what we have done, so it'll keep it isolated from the external agents and stuff, and make also the soldering points more stiff, and then we can finally close up our connector with the bottom part. And I have to kind of screw it up and then fix it in position with its screws. You need going to need a hexagon key to do that. Key. This will help the cable to uh, keep being shape, stay in shape. Remember always to put the direction from which the hot pole, the hot cable with the signal goes from. You always need to put the direction from the source of the music towards the speakers, ultimately. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching. Please post your comments and any type of questions here below. I hope I can answer. I hope this video was useful. And please smack that little subscribe button and stay in touch with us. Thank you for watching. Bye, guys.